Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion host will be with you all. My beloved one today is third day of July, and being week 13, the northern time of the church calendar year A, today the mother church celebrates St. Thomas the Apostle. It's a feast day. And our readings will be coming from St. Paul letter to the Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 19 to 22. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 117, Mark chapter 16, verse 15. A gospel message will come from John Gospel chapter 20, verse 24 to 29. The tip of our message today is, do not be faithless, but believe it. Do not be faithless, but believe it. Today, Jesus has to address this, this issue of faithlessness among all of us. And especially addressing Thomas today. Jesus came to visit the apostles, and behold, Thomas was not there. And when Thomas came back and the disciples told him Jesus came, we saw him. He has risen from the dead. Thomas said, look, talk to you tomorrow. I won't believe until I see myself. And put my hand in the hands in hand and feed the prince of the nail. And put my hand on the side where it appears. I will not believe. Eight days later, just to address the issue of faithlessness and, and not believing. Eight days later, Jesus appeared to the apostles again, to the disciples again. The doors were shut. And they stood in their midst and said, peace be with you. They called them and said, come. Put out your hands, feel my hands, and the print of the neck, put out your hand to my side. And many Thomas saw that, without doubting the resurrection of Christ. He saw the neck down and said, my Lord and my God. So his unbelief vanished. And he just said, look, don't be faithless, but believe it. Don't be faithless. Yes. Faithlessness is that you don't believe God. You doubt God. And when you are faithless, you are, it means your life is, is endless because you have nothing to base your life upon. Because it's faith that determines your belief, determines what you, 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 that manifests what you believe and your way of life. When you are faithless, you are endless. Like you see many, many nations of the world that are faithless and that are endless. Oh, I have many awful things happening today. Homosexualism, lesbianism, abortion. Mentioning people even making laws against God. People should not believe God. You go to jail if you have a Bible with you. And all this is fighting God. Which they are not capable of doing. Because they are faithless. They are not believing in God. And when Thomas said, My Lord and my God says, you, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who didn't see me, but they believe. Yes. Faith is not what you see. Faith is moving from known to known. Yes. Believe in God. So it's a believing first of all to understand it. And when you don't believe, without believing the word of God, it cannot be fulfilled in you. Without believing in the word of God, you cannot be pleasing to God. Confirm Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Without faith in God, you cannot be a son of God. Confirm John chapter 1, verse 12. Without faith in God, all the promises of God cannot be fulfilled in you. But when you have this faith... In him, everything comes to manifest, fulfilling you. 
And that's why today you can see Paul take the Ephesians. They are no more strangers or sojourners. They are no more strangers or sojourners, yes. So you don't, don't begin to pretend you're a stranger. You're no more a stranger or sojourners. But you are fellow member, citizens with a sense and members of the household of God. Built upon the apostles and the prophets. You are a member of the household of God built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And Jesus is the cornerstone. In him everything is joined together, building up. Joined together and building up, growing into a holy temple of the Lord. Is in him everything joined together to go into a holy temple of God, me and you, in whom you also are built into it for a dwelling place of God in the spirit. That's God's intention for you. You are no more a stranger. You are not a sojourner. You are, built, you are now the citizen of heaven. You belong to the city of family, of, family of God. That has the apostles and the prophets as their foundation. And Jesus is the cornerstone. If you don't believe this, it can't happen to you. So you don't begin to behave as you don't know who you are. Your belief is what gives you that position and makes it walk into you. You become a dwelling place of God in the spirit. You become a holy temple of God. And you know that Jesus is the cornerstone of your life. When this is elude you, you are faithless. And that's why today, you can see the same one that stood this so way today, this say, Go into the world and preach the gospel. Yes, it is when you believe that you can go and preach. You don't preach what you don't believe. You don't proclaim what you don't believe. No person can give what he hasn't got. You can't go about preaching the word of God because you since you don't believe in it. And now why many of us are not preaching the gospel because we don't believe. We are faithless. And now why today we are celebrating St. Mark, St. Thomas. Thomas became famous because of his doubting Jesus. Yes. And because he don't want, don't want Thomas to remain in his doubts, is that why he came on the eighth day again to visit, particularly for Thomas, to break the yoke of unbelief in him, to break the yoke of faithlessness in him, to break the yoke of doubt, doubt in him. Now what God has come to teach all of us today, and that's the yoke he wants to break in you and me today. We should cease to be doubt God. We should cease to be faithless. Faithless, we should, we should insist on believing him in everything he said. Thomas was known for this. But his faithlessness, because he was doubting the resurrection of Christ, but his faithlessness vanished when Jesus appeared in the presence of the risen Lord. His faithlessness appeared. I said, my Lord and my God. Not much is known about about Thomas, where he ministered, but we know he's specially celebrated in India because they believe the one who brought us who may say to India is giving special honor in the place. I was celebrating him to remind some of us he doubting we should know more that God has said, Don't be faithless, but believe it. And if that happens to you, you will see the joy of your being. But when you remain a faithless and not believing community, you look confused. You are disorganized. You have no direction. You have fo no focus. But God help us understand the need today for us, knowing what God has with for us, and believe God without doubting every inch of his word. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate our faith in God. I am of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.